so dear students in the chapter the beggar up to now what we have read what we have come to know we have come to know that there is one of the beggar his name is lashkov okay and he was found begging in the market okay so uh, when sergi that advocate meets that beggar so he was just recalling that he has met that beggar before okay so when he when that beggar gave his description that yes he is a village school teacher after that sergi he became so surprised because one day before he also met him and at that time he recalled that he was giving the description that he was a student so after that sergi really became annoyed he so got so stunned and surprised he was so shocked and he asked him that you are really telling a lie because uh, last time you were saying that you were a student and now this time you are saying that you are a a uh, uh, teacher so why are you telling such kind of lies you have to tell me the truth you have to reveal what what is your identity okay so after that lashkov accepted this thing that yes he was telling a lie he was neither a student nor a school teacher basically he was a musician he used to sing songs in a group okay so he was working in group but because of his bad habit of drunkenness he was expelled from that group so now he was not having any work so that's why for last one year he has been you can say uh, doing that arm work that he was asking for arms he was asking for begging so that's why he has to choose this option so uh, when sergi came to know about his condition and he uh, gave him suggestion that instead of begging here and there what should you do you should uh, you can say you should do some work and by doing some work you can earn money so after that he asked who is going to give me work so lashkov lashkov offered him a very good job he said that okay i give you a very simple job you have to do only chopping chopping of wood okay and there is one of my servant named olga she is uh, in my house and she will be guiding you with her guidance with her you can say help you can do that work and in this way you will be able to earn money so lashkov took him to his house okay where he met met olga so olga made him understand all the things how to do the things so this up to that we have read okay so uh, now there was a meeting between olga and that beggar okay now listen what ha happens afterwards Here Olga, he said, take this gentleman into the wood shed and let him chop wood. So up to that we have uh, read that instructions were given to Olga, and uh, she was given instruction to take that gentleman into the wood shed so that this work that how to chop wood, this work could be uh, given to that person. So finally, Ol Olga obeyed and she took that person inside. Okay. Now the scarecrow of a beggar shrugged his shoulder. So start reading from there. Okay, Ridhima, you start reading. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> the scarecrow of a beggar shrugged his shoulders as if in perplexity and went irresolutely after the cook. It was obvious from his guilt <clears throat> that gait, he had gait. not from his gait. gate okay from his gate that he had not considered to go and chop woods uh chop woods because he was hungry and wanted work but simply from pride and shame and because he had been trapped by his own words it was obvious to that is his strength and been undrimmed by vodka and that he was unhealthy and did not did not feel the slightest infliction for toil uh, sergey sergey uh, hurried into the dining room from its windows one could see the wood shed and everything that went on the yard standing at the window sergey was the cook and the beggar uh, come out into the yard 
by the back door and make their way across the dirty snow to the shed. Olga glared warmthfully at her companion, showed him aside with her elbow, unlocked the shed, and anger angrily banged the door. Now, in these two paragraphs, what story we have come to know? The scarecrow of beggar. Why it is seeming like a scarecrow? Because he was wearing a very loose coat, okay? And he was seeming, he was looking just like a scarecrow, okay? As there is an appearance of scarecrow. So he was shrugging, like moving his shoulder like that. And is as if perplexity. So, but you write down the meanings of these difficult words, then we'll be able to understand the text. Perplexity. The meaning of perplexity means first of all, you write down the meaning of perplexity means man. Uh, Write down the meaning of scarecrow. Scarecrow. It means a person who is badly dressed up. So why this word is written here, scarecrow? But whenever you go through the text, you go through it very, very carefully because it can be asked in MCQ also. But if you have listened the chapter carefully, then you'll be able to get the answer. So scarecrow is written why so? Because it gives a description that he was not dressed properly. Okay. Irresolutely, it means it was not containing, not containing, and gate. Gate is a you can say style of walking, manner in which manner he was walking, manner of walking. But you write on these words. Hurry up, write down these meanings. I can ask any of the students to show me what they have written. See, when this job was of, uh, offered to him, so that beggar who, for beggar, the word is used here poor because he was very, very long or you can say very uh, oversized coat. Okay, so that's why it was said scarecrow and he shrugged his shoulder. He moved his shoulder as why he moved his shoulder because he was not able, he did not want to to do work and he went there in perplexity. Perplexity means he was not able to understand why, why this job is offered to him. Okay. So he just running after the cook. Okay. So from his gate, gate means from the manner he was walking. So from the manner he was walking, it was very much obvious. It was very much clear that he was not consented. Consented means he was not agreed at all. Consented means agreed. So he was not agreed at all to chop wood, but what option he was having? He was not having any other option. Okay. He was so hungry. He wanted food. So that's why he had to run after that to cook. Okay. And, but simply from pride and shame and 
Uh, moreover, he was proud because of his own work because he has made that false story. He has told that false story to uh, you can say about to uh, that he was a first of all he was a teacher he was a student such kind of stories were made by him. Now he was trapped in his own world and now he was having no option at all. So that's why he had to follow that person. So, uh, had been undermined by Vorka and that he was unhealthy and did not feel the slightest inclination for toil. Okay, it means he was drunkard personality, he has drunk a lot and now the thing was that he was not able to work hard. He was not having such kind of stamina that he should do lit a lot of hard work and he should prove that yes, he was able to do work. So, uh, when work was assigned to him, so what happened, Sergi, that advocate, he went into dining room and from his window, okay, the woodshed was completely visible and what was going in that yard, it was also visible and he was standing in the window, uh, window and Sergi was looking out of that window and he saw that there was cook and the beggar, they came out of the yard, they came into the yard, yard and they were visible from there and they were making their way to that shed. It was snowfall, okay, so they have to make way from that dirty snow which was falling there, okay. So Olga glared wrathfully, wrathfully means Olga was not happy with that person. She was in full anger, wrathfully. Wrathfully, wrathfully means angrily. So she was okay uh, looking at that person so with lots of disgust, with hate, okay, and she shoved him aside with her elbow. So when she wanted to give him, we are just looking at that person, she was looking at that person so wrathfully, so angrily, and she shoved him aside. It means when she wanted to say him that you just get aside, instead of saying this thing, she nudged him with her window like that. And after that, she unlocked the shed and angrily banged the door. Bang means you can say shut the door. Okay. Shut with heavy noise. Shut with heavy noise. So, so she simply banged the door, shut the door with heavy noise. So this was a gesture represented by Olga when instructions were given by uh, by when instructions were given by Sergi to take him inside and to make him understand the whole book. Clear data? Now let's move to next paragraph. You can see in the pic, this is Olga. Okay, that is a cook. And this is uh, Lushko, that drunkard personality. And this is Sanji. Okay. Now, Aparan Guru. Yes, ma'am. Next, he saw the pseudo teacher seat himself on a log and became lost in thought with his red cheek resting on his fist. The woman flung down and aches at his feet, spat angrily, and judging from the expression of her lips, began to scold him. The beggar irresolutely pulled a billet of wood towards him, set it up between his feet, and tabbed it feebly with the egg. The billet wavered and fell down. The beggar again pulled it to him, blew on his freezing hands and taped it with his eggs cautiously, as if afraid of hitting his over shoe or of cutting off his finger. The stick of wood again fell to the ground. Sergei's anger had vanished and he now began to feel a little sorry and ashamed of himself for having set of spoiled, drunken, perhaps sick man to work at manual labor in the cold. 
Okay. Now in these two paragraphs, there are so many difficult words. You just write down the meanings of those words. Afterwards, I will be explaining you the meaning of that text. Okay, Bachi. So start writing. Start writing in this paragraph. Okay. So here word is given pseudo teacher. Pseudo teacher, you can say assumed one. Assumed, okay. Spat. Spat means jet saliva. Okay. Billet. Billet means chunky piece of wood. Chunky piece of wood. Okay. Chunky piece of wood. Feebly. Fibri means lacking in force. Lacking in force. So, dear children, you people are grown up, you are a student of ninth class. It doesn't mean that if you are writing the word meaning, you are keeping so either because if you will be writing the meanings of these words. So, you are going to do it yourself. Because if you understand the meaning, if you write down the meaning, only then that will be understood. And whenever you will be preparing for the exam, keep this thing in your mind that while doing preparation, you will not straight away do question answers. You have to go through the whole chapter. Then you will start revising question answers. Because in your paper, any kind of question can be asked. But if, by side by side, if you have written the meaning, then to understand the text, it will be very much easy for you. Because if you haven't written the word meaning, you will not be able to understand the text because in this chapter, so many difficult words are given. Now, a poem has read two passages. So, according to these two passages, what is the meaning? Now he saw the pseudo teacher. Pseudo teacher means a young teacher. Olga, which was not basically, you can say, teacher. She was a cook and she was there only to guide that personality. Okay. So uh, she was, you can say, not actual teacher. She was assumed that she sat on that place on a low globe, you can say, piece of wood. Low, you can say, piece of would she uh, okay she sat there okay and she was lost in thoughts with his red oh sorry become he saw the pseudo teacher seat himself on a log and become lost in thought with his red cheeks resting on his feast so uh, basically uh, here you can say there was a basically assumed teacher not apparent clearly okay that person was sitting on a piece of a I'll just share the text with you. Sitting there and she was resting on his feast like this. Okay. So when that person was not doing his work, so what happened basically, the woman flung down an X at his feet. So this was a gesture that was given by that lady. She flew that X at his feet and she ejected saliva angrily. Spitting key, okay, and judging from the expression of her lips, okay, and from her lips, the gestures were very much clear, and she started scolding that personality. Why she started scolding that personality? Because the beggar irresolutely pulled the billet of wood. Because what was the gesture of that? He took a piece of wood, okay, and chunky small piece of wood, and uh, he threw that and he threw between his feet and he tapped it feebly with the X. Okay, so with its X, he took that with very less force. Okay, and that billet, that piece of wood, it moved back and forth and after it fell down, 
again bedkar pulled it down okay and he was blowing his blowing his freezing hands and he was tapping that x very carefully okay why so because he was afraid that it should not hit his overshoes while or it should not cut off his finger okay so when he picked up that stick he it really fell again because it was a sphere cold there and because of that cold and because of drunkard also drunken also he was not able to do that work okay he was not able to do that work so it was really surprising so sargi anger had vanished and he now began to feel a little sorry now sargi when he was looking uh, he was when he was so uh, you can say tempered so angry now his anger really vanished really got disappeared and now he was feeling ashamed of himself because he has given a work such kind of domestic work you can say to a drunkard personality okay and this drunkard personality was spoiled personality he was drunk he was sick man so that work was given to him so one hour later olga came and she announced that wood had all been chopped so one hour later when olga came and she told this thing to sargi now all the woods have been chopped okay so after that what instructions were given by that uh, sargi he said okay so you can give him a ruble ruble you can say a unit of money okay so after that next instruction was given if he wants to he can come back and cut wood on the first day of each month we can always find work for him so such kind of instructions were given to him that whenever he wants if he really wants to earn so he can come every uh, month on the very first day okay and he can do this chopping work and we can always find work for him okay so every month on the very first day that person used to come that waif waif you can say write down the meaning of waif they means that thin man he used to uh, made his appearance he used to come there and he was able to earn half a rupee okay and although he was not able to stand on his feet it means he was so uh, feeble he was not willing to do work and he was feeling so uh, weak he was not able to do work from that day on he often appeared in the yard and every time work was found for him so every time whenever he was working he was used to come there so work was ready for him okay now what was the condition now how the things keep on changing let's read further so up to that i have explained find work for him so on the first of the month start reading from there okay dhiren you read yes ma'am now he would shovel now snow now put the wood shed in order now beat the dust out of the rugs and mattresses every time he received from 20 to 40 uh, 40 kopecks and once even a pair of old trouser were sent out to him when sergi moved into another house he hired him to help in the packing and hauling of the furniture the time the waif was sober gloomy and silent he hardly touched the furniture and walked behind the wagons hanging his head not even making a pretense of appearing busy he only shivered in the cold and became embarrassed when the uh, when the carters jeered at him for his idleness his feebleness and his stated fancy overcoat after the moving was over sergi sent for him well i'm happy that my words have taken an effect he said handing him a rubble here's for you your pains i see you uh, you are sober and have no objection to work what is your name leskov well leskov i can now offer you some other cleaner employment can you write i can then take this letter to a friend of mine tomorrow and you will begin to give be given some copying to do work hard don't drink and remember what i have said you 
said to you goodbye pleased at having put a man on the right path sergey tipped laksh lakshov kindly uh, on the shoulder and even gave him his hand at the parting lakshov took the letter from that day put came no more to the yard for work two years went by then one evening as sergey was standing at the ticket window of the theater paying for his seat he noticed a little man beside him with a coat collar of curly fur and a worn silk skin cap the little individual timidly asked the ticket seller for a seat in the gallery and paid for it in copper coins let's go is that you cried sergey recognizing in the little man his former wood chopper how are you what are you doing how is everything with you all right i am a notary now and i am paid 35 Rubles a month. Rubles a month. Okay. Now, from this page, what we have come to know, okay? So, from this page, we have come to know that that person used to come every first of the month. Okay, which means you can say thin man. okay he was coming there okay and he was earning half a ruble every month okay but he was not able to stand on his legs properly okay and from that day uh, he often appeared in the yard and every time work was given to him now in order to make way he used to shovel the snow shovel the snow means to use the tool to you uh, uh, clean it okay so shovel is basically a tool with loan handle shovel is a tool okay so with long handle okay you can write the tool with handle so he used to make a way using that uh, tool okay and now he was keeping the wood shed in order he was beating the dust out of rugs and mattresses and every time he was receiving 20 to 40 kopecks okay and after that even a pair of old trousers were also given to that person so when sergi was moving in another house okay uh after that sergi thought that he should leave that place he there was some planning going in that he was about to move to another house so when sergi was about to move to another house so he hired him why he hired him in order to pack up the things okay in order to haul of the furniture hauling of the furniture hauling means hauling means to pull so in order to pull the furniture he hired him okay so at this time the wave wave was that thin personality wave means thin man wave means a thin man so every time this uh, thin man was you can say very much little sober he was so gloomy gloomy you can say he was very sad very much silent okay so he was not able to touch the furniture even and he was just walking behind the wagons wagons you can say white guns so he was only you can say uh, hanging his head behind those vehicles and he was not even making pretense pretense means you can say false show pretense is a pretense is a false show it means he was not even showing off that he was busy in doing the work he was only shivering in the cold okay and he was so feeling embarrassed because he was not able to do that work and the carters jeered at him jeered at him means they were only making fun of him it means when another work was given by sarji to uh, you can say take up all the furniture and all the things to shift from one place to another 
so he was he was not pretending he was not even even showing off that he was busy in that work he was feeling so embarrassed because he was not able to do that work okay and he was only shivering in that cold and he was feeling so idle so feeble and he was having only that to coat okay fancy overcoat and after the moving was over sir he sent for him he sent because he was not good for uh, that work okay now he was saying that uh, he gave him a ruble and he said i am happy that my words have taken effect okay here is your pains i see that you are sober and have no objection to work what's your name okay so up to that we have read rest of the chapter we will be i will be explaining to you because that is about to read so up to that bachche you go through the text if you face any kind of difficulty any of the text is not clear to me you can ask me tomorrow okay take care of yourself because uh, if you will be taking care of yourself only then you will be able to focus on your studies okay and whatever the work we are doing daily you also go through it okay okay so thank you and have a nice day